It's looking like one of the best arcs of Frieden. And we have two episodes left to conclude season one. What's gonna happen? Just wrap up episodes, slice of life, chill moments? Let's find out today's reaction. Oh god! It's the Dementia Baldi again! Bro, you don't even know what the secrets are. What are you fucking talking about, Baldi? You're not even our master, you schizo motherfucker! You didn't- Wait, 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 wait. Did he say the same line last time? Remember when we first met him? I think he said there is nothing left for me to teach you. He, he's a fucking NPC. This guy is a literal NPC. Just walking by, meeting random people, saying the same dialogue. <laughs> Amazing. This guy, I don't know what his name is, but I think he is the funniest side character in this anime. It, it, this guy is actually fucking goaded. My favorite Baldi. Okay, here comes Farron. Uh oh. Is she. Wh wh what are you pissed about? What? What? She fucking neglected us this entire time. Stark was out doing some shit. He was lonely. Frieden and Farron just hogged the entirety of season two. And, I'm sorry, season one, part one. What are you mad about? An era of humans. They fought? Over what? Right. Her staff broke, so she's gonna get a new one. And what she say? We don't got money? We should get a new one. Probably like nostalgia, right? Yeah, it's nostalgia. Hmm. I don't know. Then I understand the nostalgia factor. Three, three years? Oh. Belly button. I forget that they do fan service sometimes like this, but three years? Three years? So we're definitely. That's like season two content, huh? So Kane. Lavine failed, but did Kane pass? So Kane could technically become a first class mage if she passes the third test? Dude, she's gonna do that thing where she fucking gets on top and grabs her fucking, you know, hair. Oh, oh, oh. Aww. Kane and Lavine seems are really nice and wholesome, man. No complaints. Wait. What are we gonna do? Wait, is Richter gonna fix our staff? What, what? Dude, Richter thinks so cold to thank you. I thought we're friends, man. Thanking just like a lonely grandpa that just, you know, wants to hang out. <laughs> no, don't a girl. Wow, not a sore loser, huh? Terrible mood enough to kill children or what, Richter? People have to work to make a living no matter how foul their mood. True? You gotta pay the fucking bills, you better fucking show up to work. Feels bad, man. You can take a next three years later. We already saw this part. He's unlucky. I don't think we saw this part. Three years, right? Three years. Oh, whippersnapper. The boomer is just like shitting. <laughs> oh, are we friends then? Bro, I want to see a spin-off story of Prime Denkin. When Denkin was a youngster and probably just like fist fighting people in the streets, bro. Means that you can mature too one day. Or you could be dead. Just saying. I'm um, his granddaughter, kind of, not really. I get free donuts. 
<laughs> Bro came in and just fucking looked at random shit just to talk to Richter and kind of... No, he came in to cheer him up. He came here to cheer him up and say, hey, don't, don't be too down on yourself. You know, you got plenty of time. He should have maybe bought something, but you know. He probably spent all that money on the fucking donuts. Okay, here's Frieden. What, another boomer showing up? <laughs> so Richter will fix Farron's staff, maybe? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Don't let Farron hear that. <laughs> Shouldn't tell this dude, God, dude, dude is the worst fucking worker ever. He just shits on every customer that shows in. Fuck you, why are you here? Buy something, you fucking boomer. I didn't buy anything. Fuck out of here. Fucking Frieden shows up. Holy shit, my day was about to get better, but here you are. Okay, I guess his shop's doing pretty well if you can just decline a client. Ooh, reverse psychology. You can't do it? You can't do it? So easily baited. So we're just reconstructing the entire staff off of the pieces that we saved. Oh, 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 he's apologizing all of a sudden. Yes, she did. Farron did. Oh my god, that was, a f that was an entire skewer in one bite. What is she getting ready for a speed eating contest? Holy! That's gotta be another fucking gift, dude. That's another memeable firm moment, dude. She just fucking swallowed that fucking skewer. Double, double skewer. No one understands you. No one understands you, Fern. Everyone has to just deal with her bullshit. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. I understand. Now, before I shit on Farron, I understand that she never socialized with anyone her age. She was, you know, kept away. And she was with Hydra the entire time. And she is a little bit acoustic. And she's very social in And I understand that. But, like, goddamn. Goddamn. Everybody has to fucking conform around this poor fucking princess. No one knows what she wants. That's why I want to know I think Farron is spoiled by Stark and Frieden. <laughs> Frieden's kid? <laughs> okay, student. She doesn't know that, you know, he fixed the staff. Ah, you just ruined the surprise birthday gift! But that's not that big a deal. Maybe she's gonna get very excited now. There it is. The staff is restored. Now, go apologize to Frieden. Say sorry and thank you. I feel like that's the same for Fern too, kind of, huh? Oh. Mother daughter relationship, kind of? Sleeping Frieden. Cute. Are oh, you gonna join her in bed? No, you're just gonna. Head pat. Thank you. Who's the mother? Who's the daughter? It, it mixes. It swaps. Sometimes Fern's the mom. Sometimes Frieden's the mom. Okay, third test. That is not happening in three years. It's happening right now. Oh, you, Bell. Sorry. Nothing. <laughs> I think they both understand, right? They, they both understand, but it's like, damn. She's just like, huh. She don't even know. I don't have to apologize. <laughs> Fuck you, Frieden. Yeah. Nah, they're cool. They're cool. They're cool. It's a 1v1s, right? Say it. Could you want to see Frieden fight? Burn fight? So we need to call them? No teamwork amongst the first class mages. Frieden! No, it's Kanne! 
So, the argument is that because of Frieden's existence, she's just been carrying everybody. Well, has she been? The second test? Yeah. I mean, well, couldn't you argue that if Frieden wasn't there, then like, we could have cleared the labyrinth a bit easier? Because like, then we wouldn't have to fucking fight Frieden, you know what I mean? But I, I, I guess Zenzei's, you know, um, or Zayde or Zenzei's, you know, the hair copy will be there too. I don't know. But I, I do understand the point that they might be getting carried. It's all Frieden's fault. Okay, third test and fucking you fight Frieden. Oh? Peaceful, she says. Sure, sure, I believe you. What could he possibly say against you? Oh, that's right. We're hiding our true power level after all. Equal? Not surpassing? He broke it and tell. You fell for the bait. Because she's so good at suppressing you, don't even know. Is there something different that Frieden's doing? Or is it the fact that he just she's just been doing it for so many years that it's so refined that whatever these fluctuations are doesn't even matter anymore? I don't know. There it is. Extraordinary talent. Yeah, we took thousands of years. She's been doing it for fucking thousand years or some shit, right? She did it though. Imagine if Frieden spent all those years just mewing, man. That's right. Because we had to fool demons. That's the entire point, right? Was it, though? But, like, she never cared about becoming, like, super powerful, right? I mean, the suppressing mana did help kill the demons. And that's the whole thing. Flamis say that this is, like, the art of, like, concealing your mana to kill demons, but... She doesn't really care too much about stuff like that, right? Dude, the toe just moved! The toe just moved! Flick! It flicked! Flick again! Really? That goes to show, like, imagine if Frieden was super optimized, right? Imagine if she was super optimized to be efficient and actually get strong, right? And, and she's already so fucking strong, right? Isn't that crazy? And she slayed the Demon King. How did Lernin know? How did Lernin know how to... Like, the other guy couldn't tell. Lernin built Diff? Are we hyping this character up right now? Wait, no, we're hyping the fuck out of Lernin right now! He's very humble, yeah! Bro's been a half a century first class mage? Holy shit. And this is like prime learning? Prime learning? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Still the same timid boy. More, I don't know, assertive? <laughs> See? Sensei has to like... Use her hair to put a jacket on her. That cape is sick. I don't know. It's funny that she just casually did that as, you know, she's walking out. Is season finale gonna be learning versus freedom? So is that confirmation that um learning was a student of um uh Zenze? She kind of implied that at the end, right? She said that you've been like a first class mage for like fucking like a half a century, but she would never really confirm that you were a student. But at the very end, it's like, I shouldn't take more. So, sorry. I get the name Zenze and Seide keep it mixed up constantly. It's way too similar. Zenze is the proctor, Seide is her. So, oh shit. So, Flame and Lernin were students of Seide. That's crazy. Freedom versus Lernin next episode. Let's go. Oh. Oh.
Cause like learn instead. Oh, I think Frieden is like suppressing mana, and I think that her mana full full scale is as equal to yours. But the equal part, learning doesn't know that Zere is suppressing the mana. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. These fluctuations are bullshit, man. It's just an interview? Wait. She's just gonna do it off of vibes? Depending on how she feels, she'll pass you? You think Kane's gonna pass? I... I like... I don't know. I like... Uh, probably not. Like, uh, Zayden was so fucking, you know, rude. Not rude, but very, very strict. I feel like Kane kind of got carried, and we'll see. With water, Kane is pretty busted, but like, you know, I'm not sure if. Very peaceful room. I mean, Kane popped off when she needed to, but it was like teamwork at the end. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even finish my the. I was about to play defense for her. <laughs> Next. You got carried. Oh. So you can't be intimidated. Okay. The confidence isn't there. I feel like Yubel should pass, you know? Yubel is kind of the Lulu in the head, you know? Her entire thing is, if I believe I can cut you, I'm like, I bet Yubel would try to fucking fight City, dude. I bet Yubel would pass. <laughs> Mustachio! Granddaughter! I don't know who you are. Uh, the other girl. Frieden? Dude! That was like, how many, how many fails in a row? How many fails were that? One. Double kill, triple kill, quadra kill, penta. Not yet. Technically, it is penta if you include Kane. Technically, it is penta kill. Penta kill. Uh, it's gonna be some dumb one. It's gonna be some like x-ray vision or some shit. Oh, that's a nice one! It's to remember Himel, dude! That's a nice one, but it is probably like flowers? Fucking useless! You should have said like manifest Hades or some shit. <laughs> Penta kill, well, not including Kanne. Denkin is still up too, right? But that's exactly why she defeated the Demon King, right? Didn't Flame say, like, because Frieden doesn't give a shit about chasing power and stuff, she is the one that can kill the Demon King, right? Mm. Teamwork. What, you're gonna say that she got carried now? She's fine with being lucky, though. Okay, flashback time. Himmelen. Frieden, alone time. I wanted you. I love you. Right, she was like picking flowers when they first met, right? <sighs> Poor Himmel, man. He doesn't deserve this. What the fuck, Frieden? This is probably such an important memory to Himmel. And Frieden's like, uh, how do we meet again? <laughs> I know you don't. She had no expectations. Oh, wait. Not the recruitment, but when he was an actual kid? Freedom as a kid? Oh, this is a new memory I didn't know about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, we can't say Freedom groomed Himel and that she is a predator. No, no, we can't say that. But Himel did meet Freedom as a kid like that. And he, he was just like, wow, what a pretty elf. Go over there, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she You know, a proper person when, when, when a kid is alone in the dark and lost, to be like, Oh, are you okay? It was your parents. Oh, we're going to take you to the village. <laughs> but he's like, Fucking monkey. <laughs> go, what are you doing? So it's over there. What are you, are you dumb? Just go over there, dumbass. 
なんて言うんだよ。僕のそんな。Why she's looking down on him, l dude? Oh my god! 不安を語ったのか。Imagine she just wanted to fucking troll around and she sent her in the wrong direction. Oh, she flexed the flowers when they first met. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Email should have said, How the fuck is this gonna help me get home? Why are you showing me fucking flowers? Tell me how to get home. Why are you just pointing in that direction? And then he kind of just like, was like, Wow, amazing freedom. And then. <laughs> she did not listen to a single thing. Zayde's probably like, I don't give a fuck. Soft, weak, trash, pussy, flowers? I'm not sure about Fern. Will Fern be the only one that passed? Hmm. Here she is, the era of humans. Is she scared? No, I don't think this is being scared. This is like, you know, being interested, right? A tiny elf. Why? Oh! Oh! Dude! We were just hyping up how that first class mage she was taught by Sadie couldn't tell the fluctuations! She could. She could. How? Pass. Be my student? No, 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 she's loyal to Frieden. Denied! I bet that's the first time Zayde was ever rejected like that. Well, I think Frieden kind of rejected Zayde's or some shit, right? When she was like, I, I don't know. But like, goddamn, to reject her like this after being complimented? <laughs> oh, she's still trying to poach. Wasn't last episode called the height of magic? Didn't we already reach that height? Yeah, are you holding us hostage? Put your balls on the table and say no and just fucking walk away and still pass because you got the respect of Zere. Do it right now. Come on. Zere -sama. I reject. Flashback. Oh, Freedon just said, you'll pass no matter what, so say something crazy. <laughs> Nice! Kinda of disappointed, but I bet she respects that decision. That's great! Fern is getting so much respect and acknowledgement, man! What about Denkin? Denkin can still do it, right? That's the episode! God damn it! Next episode, we might get a little bit of Denkin! Yo! I wanna see! You know what should happen? You know what should happen? <laughs> If, if, if Zayde tries to, you know, fail Denkin, Denkin should fucking take his fucking coat off, dude. Just fucking, let's fight. Barehanded fist. If I beat you in a fist fight, I pass. Please, show me something like that. I don't know. This is a very interesting episode, and I, I, I fucked up a lot. The intro was fucked up. My understanding of the third exam is fucked up. It's all right, though. No one watches the intro, I'm pretty sure. And honestly, the baldy here might be the funniest and most important. Important character of this show, maybe not important, but goddamn, this is a very memorable character to me. Bro was spamming actual NPC lines because he has dementia. He can only repeat the same thing over and over again like an actual NPC. I love this character. Now, Richter and Denkin, I, I feel like Denkin just wants some friends, man. You know, Denkin kind of like has a donut granddaughter, but Richter is being a bit sin today. But, you know, Denkin came around and said, hey. You got plenty of time, young chap. I used to be tsundere like you. Don't worry. And Richter was like, damn, dude. You're just gonna fucking leave without buying shit? Yes, he is. Now, Fern, Frieden. Fern, Frieden obviously should pass, but Seide just has her biases, so Frieden fails. But it doesn't matter because we only need one person to become a first-class magician, right? And if we have that, then I guess we can do... I, I forget the exact perks we get, but the benefits and the perks were important overall in order to travel to the north right this guy the learn stir guy le learn it learn something this guy was kind of hyped up too it's pretty much confirmed that he was a student a human student of uh Sede, which is a huge thing because the other human was flame right so 
Just saying, if, if Sayre was willing to take in another filthy human, I learning must be fucking insane, huh? The interview was a pretty interesting way of handling the test. So obviously, we're kind of squished them for time. So I was kind of worried, like, how the fuck are we going to cover the third exam in, like, you know, two episodes? But, like... <laughs> Fucking pentakill, dude. Fuck. Fail, 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 fail. Everybody fucking fails. <laughs> Pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Feels bad that. And maybe the funniest thing is how Frieden and Himmel met, dude. He almost lost in the woods as a kid. He didn't know where to go. Frieden shows up, just points to the fucking direction, says nothing, and leaves. Well, she did show him some flowers, but kind of cold, you know? Kind of fucking cold. But every time we get those flashbacks, they're so wholesome and funny. And Farron. Huge respect, right? It's it's our sensei, right? How could she betray Frieden like that? Especially when Frieden, you know, got that staff all repaired. So I think this is a very good conclusion. We have one more episode left. Not sure how we're going to conclude it, but we do have Denkin's test results to see. So we'll see you there. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.